Hi, my name is Benjamin Weatherston. I'm a commercial and editorial photographer from Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm the owner of Photo Studio Group and the photographer and photo editor for the Ann Magazine. And for the next 10 days, I'm gonna be using the Westcott seven foot parabolic umbrella and the triple threat speed light adapter. Now everybody that knows me knows that I love the Westcott seven foot parabolic umbrella. I wrote a blog post a year ago that says it's my favorite piece of equipment, and then if I were starting out today and I only could buy one modifier, it would be the silver with the diffusion panel. I'm a very busy shooter. I shoot a lot uh, by myself. I shoot a lot without an assistant, and I shoot a lot on location as well as in the studio. One of the things I refuse to do is sacrifice good studio lighting while on location. I don't want my pictures in the studio to look one way and then out in the field to look another way. So what does it mean that it's parabolic? specifically on the silver, not so much on the white, but the parabolic shape actually allows you to focus the light. The flashes hit the material and the light comes out in almost straight lines. This can be great to achieve some completely natural, not photoshopped vignettes. One thing with the silver, when you have three light sources, you do want to be careful about your shadows. If you look closely at her arm, it creates a very interesting shadow. Typically, if you've bought the umbrella, you put a single speed light in there and you point it, and sometimes you might put the diffusion screen down to get a wider spread. These are the Nikon uh, SB900s. And you take a picture and if you get a little bit of the umbrella in the photo, uh, it looks great. It's like huge and, and gorgeously white. I'm gonna take a, an actual picture of the umbrella right now. And... So what we have here is a picture of a, of a huge, gorgeous white umbrella. And so we think that it's amazing and the, the spread is awesome. But that's because we're exposing for the subject, which is out here. As soon as we expose for the umbrella itself, I'm just gonna stop down, way down, down to like F16, and I take a picture. Well, now we have a completely different picture of the umbrella. We're only getting a light spread of maybe three feet. So now our huge light isn't really that huge anymore. The rest of the inside of the umbrella is just lit by the spill of that one actual spot of light. So now we can have three flashes pointed into the umbrella and it will mount right onto the umbrella shaft itself, not on the light stand. Although it is cool that they have threaded mounts in two different sizes on this thing. So now I'm gonna take the exact same picture and show the, uh, the spread pattern is different. And what we can do, because we can get this so close, we can actually tilt these out. And so now we can see a dramatically different spread pattern with the three flashes versus the one flash. We have a nice big, we're utilizing more of the umbrella surface area. I would love to see a sink port and actually have those as hot shoes and not just cold shoes with a, a screw mount. I would love to be able to plug in one pocket wizard into the front of the triple threat and have all the flashes fire. That would be amazing in terms of future product development. This cap on the end is really cool because you can take it off. And if you unscrew it, you get this little threaded nub that you can work with. Manfrotto stud double threaded, and I'm gonna put this on here, and then I'm gonna th thread an eye hook into the other end. I can then hang it from the rafters in our studio, and we can now roof our lights right over our subject and position it at any height very smoothly. All thank you to that little screw that's sticking out the end of the umbrella. Well, thank you for watching this Westcott Real Deal review about the seven foot parabolic umbrella and the triple threat speed light adapter. I hope that it helped inform any future decisions you might be making in terms of buying new gear. 
Again, I would encourage everyone to buy all three options. Get the shoot through, get the white and the silver. But specifically, I would recommend that you get the silver umbrella with the diffusion material for the most versatility while shooting. Again, my name is Benjamin Weatherston from Photo Studio Group in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Please check out fjwestcott.com for a look at all of their gear. Thank you.